I just want to explain what I do and why I'm doing it. Um, and why I even hashtag this little private Facebook page, Listening Voice Media. It's And it's for one reason. It's just recognizing and acknowledging the fact that most depression, most suicides, most um, addiction actually stems from the lack of human connection. And, and it's actually, for me, it's actually easier to, to connect with the ones I don't even know than the people closest to me. And that's kind of a sad thing in life. <laughs> I think we all know what I, I'm talking about there because it's easier sometimes to help a stranger and then walk away. <clears throat> You're stuck with the people that mean the most to you. And uh, there's a lot more follow through. So what I'm doing is in no way trying to get more attention to me or considered heroic in any way, shape or form. This is just my way of sharing what I do for myself in a very selfish way in reaching out to people who I believe might need a shoulder to lean on, a listening ear, some validation in some way, shape or form. And, and it takes minutes pennies and minutes to reach out and give a listening voice to these people on the street. So that's really my explanation. Hopefully that makes sense to you. <clears throat> and I challenge you, I, whoever's watching this, I challenge you to go out and do the same thing. It takes seconds. You put your, get a little phone mount, put it on your window like I have here in the car. I can put it anywhere. <clears throat> I can walk around with my phone, do videos all day long good high quality videos and it's not about the quality this is about the content and the message and reaching out it takes seconds you guys seconds it's not going to affect your life in any way so I challenge you anyone watching this to keep this ball rolling it takes a village and if we can create that village through you and you challenging someone else just like the 22 push-ups for for uh veteran suicide awareness um, I hope we can do something with video and getting people's consent don't just throw it up there without them knowing um, but just reach out to people and share their message share their story so they feel feel heard thanks you guys I challenge you go do it all right there's a couple guys these guys are standing in the middle of the middle of the road so it's kind of hard to talk to him. Okay, I just pulled over and talked to this guy named Shane. Local guy. Went to Skyline High School and dropped out of high school. So he, he thinks he would have graduated around 82, 83. But he wouldn't, he wouldn't get in the car with me and tell me his story. But I gave him my card and he said, yeah, let, let, me, let me just... Let me sit through this. He goes, I, I love what you're doing because the, our stories need to be heard. He says that our stories need to be heard. And I'm gonna call you. He says, I'm gonna call you and we're gonna, and I'll sit down with you. And he said, he, he goes, I live under the under the overpass right there in, in uh, Draper off 114 South. And uh, he just said, he said, you know, our stories need to be heard. They deserve to be heard. There's there's solutions and and uh, it's the lack of. He said it's just the lack of understanding and and being heard. He kept saying being heard. So I think we're on the right path with listening voice media. So um, I've got to run into Home Depot here real quick and grab a couple things, and then I'll look for somebody else. If not got a bunch of fast food I gotta get rid of so um, anyway that was cool this guy what a stud what a good guy he, he and that dude you can tell he's not on drugs and he's just homeless and uh, can't wait to have him call me and and get his story so there we go on to the next 
to another guy that wouldn't jump in the car and talk to me. He wanted to, but he doesn't want to because it's kind of prime time for him to get the best odds to get the most money right now. So I'm going to try to figure out how to get him, get him this Whopper. He's right there. Dang it. Too many people behind me. So I'm going to flip around and <clears throat> give him a Whopper doing a little different thing today. Left McDonald's, went to Burger King, got the Whopper. Got the Whopper. <laughs> Flip around here. Yeah, there we go. There's the guy. I forgot to give you the food when I drove off. Cool. But here's your here's a whopper and a yeah, coke. I'm sorry, man. I'd, I'd like to. That's a coke. You. No worries, man. I'm, you're you're prime time right now. So. Yeah, I just it. All right. Take care. Be careful on that ice. Flipping a U-turn right here where it says no U-turn. That's worth it, right? Have a good one. Happy New Year. Well, no luck today. Um, he even said, maybe you heard it. He said, I wish I could help you, but it's right in this prime time. So didn't want to disturb that. But you can see it. You can see it in these guys' eyes, man. Every one of them. Every, every homeless person, man, they're just like you and me. Just like you and me. And uh, they're just down on their luck or they're, they've made horrible decisions and it's put them where they are, but they are where they are. And, uh, you know, even, even someone like me who supports Donald Trump, you know, I'm out here doing this and, uh, you know, we're heartless, right? We're these heartless humans. But um, that's another point I want to make. You know, we've got to stop this uh, this crazy behavior, politically speaking. Yeah, it was a hard-fought election with Hillary and, and Donald. And uh, Donald won, man. So... <clears throat> Just let it go, everybody. Everybody who opposes him. Just transition into this and unite with us. And we'll unite with you. And uh, see where we can take things. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to help to just um, cry about everything. Get over it. And let's, let's move forward. Let's help our brothers and sisters on the streets. Let's help get our economy back. Let's help... Um, be a part of us be part of a solution and that comes through connecting and uniting not division so yeah even me to all my liberal friends out there I'm not doing this for show I'm not doing it for anything I'm not doing it for recognition I'm doing this because my heart and my gut tells me that some of the most simple things in life can make the biggest connections and the biggest difference and it's not force it's not mandating things it's not um, regulating things it's spreading the word for people like you and me you and I can do huge things for people you and I can create the difference within our own decisions and our own abilities and our own uniting together so that's why I put this listening voice media together. Um, it's organized, but it's not. I'm challenging people to go out and do it and uh, get them to challenge other people to do it as well. And hopefully we can just flood the, flood the internet all over the place with people doing just what I'm doing right now. Today was kind of a bummer because we didn't get any stories, but I'm gonna still throw this up and just let you know I, I gave it a try and spent a few minutes it's about what it takes a few minutes a couple bucks and uh, 
at least attempt to go out and find some stories and find some people to uh, be able to listen to. So keep up the good work, guys. Love y'all. Let's uh, keep the ball rolling, man. It takes a village. See ya.